What's up guys, it's Instinct here and today I'll be showing you guys how to use Reaper X or Reaper 2.0. If that sounds interesting to you, then please make sure to drop a like and keep watching the video for all the tips and tricks I have on how to use Reaper 2.0. Alright, so I actually opened this Synergy render. This is actually quite an old render I have and I deleted the Reaper out of this so I can show you guys how to add it. Now there are quite a few tips I have what the different styles of like Reaper you can do so I guess the first one is the most basic uh, Reaper so basically what you do is go ahead and install Reaper obviously go ahead and click Reaper if you guys don't have Reaper I'll leave a link in the description on how you guys can get Reaper anyways once you have Reaper go ahead and just click on it like so and then drag a bunch of splines so to do that go ahead and click this little tool right here hold down on it and go ahead and select sketch oops sketch like so now what you can do from here is just kind of go ahead and sketch out some lines where you want the splines to appear so like so kind of like this maybe I think that looks pretty good maybe add some more like so another one like that and another one out here great so once you have all the splines go ahead and just drag this or, uh, make sure you're selected on the spline and drag it into the Reaper like so and now you guys can go ahead and click on the Reaper and change the coils to like whatever you want I usually go around like around 10 maybe or so like that like so and strands I usually go with one strand uh, distance around like 10 or so and the radius is just how thick it is so maybe something around like that so go ahead and just move this back like so and you guys can also uh, go ahead and scale it down to make sure it's like closer together and just kind of use alt to move the camera angle and just kind of place it in between like in the landscapes like so so something like that now this is the most basic like uh, usage of reaper so from here you guys can go ahead and add a material like I don't know what will we add uh, I'm just gonna use the dragon material like here right here go ahead and I'm gonna change this to cubic and seamless you guys can use any material you want though um, so like so that looks pretty good uh, but this is like I said before the most basic uh, version of Reaper so what you guys can do from here is copy it and paste this again and add an atom array onto it so go ahead and hold right here down and choose atom array drag the reaper into the atom array like so and you'll get this cool little effect now i recommend changing this to something pretty small like 0.5 like that and you guys can see that it makes this cool little um the like grid effect this little array atom array grid effect which is really cool and you guys can uh, make it even smaller because it's kind of covering up quite a bit of the original dragon material so what you guys can do is go ahead I'm actually gonna open this camera like so and you guys can make it smaller if you want um, I'll go with maybe like 0.3 like so that looks pretty good and then you guys can throw another material on this uh, I recommend using a different material so maybe like a let's see maybe throw this material on it or something like that and do cube against seamless actually I'm gonna do uh, this material like so cube against seamless perfect alright so this is like the first style of Reaper um, or Reaper 2.0 and I'll show you another style so I guess I'll just uh, group these alt G that like makes it into a null um, and I'll just hide both of these like so so the next style of Reaper is you basically do the same thing um, so get a Reaper get some splines going um, like so maybe do something like this um, hmm. like so get some more going like that perfect so again drag the splines in the reaper go ahead and use different settings this time so this time I'm gonna be using uh, 
two strands and I'm gonna be bumping the coils up to 60 and then bumping the uh, the uh, distance down to like 10 the radius will go with like 10 something like that actually bump this down to 5 and bump the distance down to 5 as well 6 let's go with 6 uh, again scale us down like so and move this back behind it like that you guys can uh, make sure to use alt to change the camera angle make sure it is going in the landscapes like so it's pretty good go back in the camera and then what you guys can do is get the spline copy and paste it so control C control V just the spline though and then go ahead and get Reaper a new one and put this into the Reaper and uh, change the strands to one or two doesn't really matter too much and change the coils down a lot to like six or seven ish uh, turn the radius down quite a bit to like maybe like three three or four I'm gonna go with three and uh, put the distance down to like ten or nine or yeah I'm gonna go with nine and you will get this cool little effect to where it wraps around the Reaper so I thought this was a pretty interesting uh, effect for Reaper just a couple things you can do with Reaper so these are like the two main styles of Reaper that I have used um, and then of course you guys can always throw some materials on here so again we'll use the same materials drag in for the main or the primary Reaper and then we'll use this material for uh, the secondary Reaper like so perfect now let's render this out alright guys so it has finished rendering and I did a few adjustments to the materials and the lighting but nonetheless this is what the Reaper effect is looking like now I will say that I do not like the splines because I kind of rushed it and I don't like how they cross up over here and I don't like how these ones are both going the same direction so just make sure to take your time with the splines but I rushed out obviously but anyways the effect looks really nice so that is pretty much it for this spline tutorial this Reaper X spline tutorial if you guys like this tutorial please make sure to drop a comment like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video guys peace